Behind these famous red brick walls of the Kremlin, Russian and Chinese presidents will meet again on Wednesday. It is their second meeting this year and the first in Russia. The two presidents met at the second Belt and Road Summit in Beijing earlier this year and discussed deepening cooperation in the Belt and Road Initiative framework. Now, it is time for talks to continue, as Russia's role in the Belt and Road Initiative is considered crucial by Chinese officials. The Belt and Road Initiative has added a driving force to the economic development in the two countries. While bilateral cooperation in traditional fields such as energy, nuclear power, aerospace and infrastructure have been consolidated, collaboration in high-tech, agricultural trade, e-commerce and finance is further pushing the two countries closer. Experts say trade cooperation is a result of enhanced political relations. That's why there have been a number of high-level trade deals between major companies from both sides. But at the same time, there is a serious lack of mutual collaboration between small and medium enterprises. The total investments of China from the 1991 up to the present day from China to Russia, it's less than the $30 billion. It means that it's much, it's much less than, for example, Chinese investments to Western Europe as well to the United States. In order to change that, Russia is eager to attract all and not just high-profile Chinese investments, such as the Great Wall Car Factory or Belirast Railway's cargo terminal. Favorable political climate is seen as an excellent vehicle for achieving that. The two countries have dramatically changed their attitude towards each other over the past three decades. It seems they both understood that great things can be achieved when neighbors collaborate and work together. That positive momentum created by the two presidents years ago resonates among Moscow residents even today. I support these good relations between our president and the Chinese president in economics and other areas. In today's world, it is very important to have allies like this on a strategic level. That's why I'm for it. I think Russia has to be friends with China, and they should support each other and expand economic and cultural ties. China is a big country with a long history, and collaboration is just mutually beneficial. Many here in Russia expect this visit to be the next step in expanding collaboration between the two countries. Alyosha Milenkovic, CGTN, Moscow.